Happy Tuesday. Time now for that most accurate forecast. I'm meteorologist Iris Hermosillo. Well, you saw them. The first monsoon storms of the season here in the Phoenix area. They hit the valley yesterday evening and in the overnight hours. We've seen storms in other parts of our state already this season as we've gotten a boost in that monsoon moisture. But finally, some measurable rain too at Phoenix Sky Harbor. Typically, we have to wait until July to get some rainfall, but we had one one hundredth of an inch officially at the airport. It was not a lot and the average across the valley less than a tenth of an inch, although we did have some big winners that did pick up over half an inch of rain. Again, you know how the monsoon is, right? It's hit and miss. Not everybody gets that much rain and it wasn't much at the airport, but it's something right. The year to date brings us a 3.81 inches of rain still running above normal thanks to our wetter winter conditions. Now, of course, for the monsoon, the average rainfall is 2.43 inches in Phoenix, so we've got a long ways to go, but the potential is there for more monsoon storms, not just this week, but of course, in the next couple of weeks, potentially for the valley, our rain chances look a little less promising today and that typically happens after a very active day or night. We see a lull the next day. There is still a chance. There's still plenty of moisture in the air, so a slight chance for thunderstorms, although today is not looking as promising as yesterday was. The better potential will continue to be in the high country and in eastern Arizona as we still have plenty of moisture around our state. Plus, heat is going to be a big factor too as high pressure is overhead. Again, more active storms across the higher terrain, a slight chance here in the valley today and then again tomorrow. Then those storm chances to start to wane a little bit by Thursday as that ridge of high pressure starts to shift to the east and we start to tap into some drier air. We could still see a stray storm on Thursday, but the chances are looking even lower. And then towards the weekend, those storm chances trend down as this area of high pressure moves east. But by Sunday into Monday, we could tap into more of that moisture, bringing better storm chances back. And in fact, looking at that precipitation outlook for six to 10 days out. So this is going into that first week of July. Odds are favoring wetter than average conditions across really most of our state all of our state really and our region. So again, there's still a chance for more monsoon storms. The week though, still a hot one. While we've got daily storm chances for the next few days, temperatures will continue to top 110 every single day, even through the weekend with Sunday being the hottest day, a high of 114 that day. In the meantime, today look for a high of 111. Those overnight lows will continue to be warm, more 90s and potentially more record setting overnight lows. Those daytime highs shouldn't set records, but again, topping 110 every day through the weekend.